and welcome to our love readings for the month of June. We're starting off with Pisces. So this is the Pisces singles reading. I have already shuffled your cards, so let's see what your topic is. Ooh, Beltane. That is literally the lovers. Woo, singles. All right. This should be an interesting June for you, you are looking at partnership. You're looking at love. You're looking at celebration. You're looking at, look, at you're looking at examining your attachment styles and your ability to be able to. Ooh, we got the sun card. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that out. Um, but your ability to be able to grow and to be able to. There we go. I want to do that one. And we're gonna do this one. Yes, your ability to be able to grow and, and the lover's card is a card that invokes our questioning, our understanding of our attachments to our higher self, our attachments to who we were and our ability to say, like, am I ready to grow beyond who I have been? And we have the sun card. So you're showing up you're you're out there you're ready to be seen you're celebrating you're having a good time you're feeling really good about yourself clarify for that is the six of waters you are aware of your past you're aware of memories of how things have been and you're kind of taking a very like um a fond review of how your relationships have gone you know but hopefully you have learned your lessons from there and you're seeing instead of holding any bitterness or anything like that related to your past relationships now you're just looking at them like okay yeah that was great lesson learned um your how to work with this energy is queen of pentacles be very grounded be very intentional understand your worth understand your value see that you yourself as a as someone who deserves the best and deserves exactly what it is that you're looking for our next card is the eight of pentacles so you're putting in some work here you're able to actually use your skills you're able to like Again, it's about feeling valued and eight of pentacles is a card of the perfection of the monies of um, the material realm of understanding how to utilize that to get what it is that you would like out of the life. Your clarifier is the six of fire. So this is a victory card, but it's also in this deck specifically a card of discipline and a card of understanding the beauty and perfection of having a routine of having discipline because you have an expectation of what is to come. And because you have that expectation or you have, an, you have a pattern and a routine, it kind of helps you to start to automate things, which means you have to put less energy into it. It frees you up and that can bring you more joy and peace because your mind isn't always constantly having to figure out what you need to be doing day to day. How to work with this energy is the Ace of Chalices. Well, we knew it would be coming eventually as you take it, the lovers or Beltane as your literal card of this month so there may be an offering um of love but it also may be one where it's making sure your cup is full you know and as you make sure your cup is full this allows for you to be able to again have that routine to again be able to utilize your skills and really feel appreciation for that to feel valued within yourself which uh, which puts you in a better space to feel valued as a partner Ten of Wands, you have taken on a lot of responsibility. We can see that having come up with that Eight of Pentacles and that Six of Fires, Fire, but you are, you know, it's one of those things where Ten of Wands is always going to be, it is responsibility that you signed up for, that you understood would be a lot of work, but that you're a-okay with that. So whether this is a relationship that maybe is taking up a lot of energy, mm, um, it's something that you understood that that was, that was going to come with the package. You got the Maiden of Earth or the Knight of Earth. Uh, so this is going to be very quick energy coming in. Very, um, it, it may be a growth in your resources very quickly coming from all this hard work that you're putting into this. Um, and Three of Swords. Woo, how to work with this energy. I, you know, I used to be like, oh, it's the Heartbreak card. But I really do feel like, like in a literal sense, the Heartbreak card is a breaking open of your heart is a breaking open of your emotions and what's interesting about the three of swords being a card that's related to relationships and breakups is that swords is not necessarily 
uh, water energy, and it's not what we would always relate to relationships. So I always think that that's interesting that that's how that card kind of got characterized when it's really like a your your heart and your mind are a little bit in conflict and because of that you're you're expanding you're breaking past just the kind of like coming together and the decisions that have to be made through the two of swords to now it's like okay i i've had to i've, I've had an additional sword brought into this and i'm not only just in my mind i'm being called to be in my heart and your heart may be pulling you into different ways which can cause confusion in your mind and so it's really again pushing towards that moment of clarity so you're entering in and having that that um, needing to find a moment of clarity around all of this, all of the time and energy that it's taking to be able to have this successful um, partnership, whether that be a partnership. But we get a clarifier for that, actually. Let's get a clarifier for the Beltane, because I'm wondering about if this is romantic partnership. Which, I mean, this is a love reading. This is a singles love reading. But it may be something that's connected to your finances. Okay, here we go. What did we get? Crown of Fire. King of Fire. So this really is feeling like, I think it's something where these things are tied together. Where your relationship is somehow, your partnerships are somehow tied to your finances. There's a connection there. And it's one in which, you know, you're... This partnership, this moment of having encountered partnership is something where it's come due from your ability to be able to do a lot of internal healing and to find your self-confidence and your self-worth, which we saw in these first two lines here. And now I think you're pulled a little bit out of balance as you are really digging into what the commitment of releasing these attachments to your old self and of connecting to having a a very influential powerful partnership means to you okay then we got the emperor it's about order creating some order creating some systems i know pisces this is not necessarily your thing but it may be what's needed to bring that success in this partnership of being more logical. You got a seven of earth here, being aware of challenges that might be coming for this, um, putting things into place to kind of mitigate those issues. And how to work with this energy is the wheel of fortune, uh, breaking through cycles, understanding that you're going to have the highs and you're going to have the lows and that when you create more order around your life so that it's not just like okay if something gets thrown into the mix it throws your whole like world off you're able to say okay no i understand that like things will come up i understand that there may be some outside influences that impact our relationships such as maybe like issues with finances issues with um being stressed out at work and so work is taking up all of your time and you're not able to connect the way that you used to when you were feeling much more stable and secure at the beginning of the month you know and you're dedicating a lot of your energy now to work things or you have an, an emperor energy that's present in your life now maybe this partnership has a little bit more of that emperor energy that very um stable and secure but very like i have to work you know and there i have overtime we have projects done it's the you know end of the what is it end of the second quarter so i need to make sure all my reporting's done you know and so it's time being taken away from that but that this is these are the cycles that we go through and understanding and reading and learning your cycles helps you to be better able be better suited towards this energy ten of chalices lots of ten energy here uh ten of wands and ten of chalices very receptive happy home great energy uh it's it's about balancing out and it's about really understanding the flow of things and not getting stuck in this idea that everything needs to be sunshine and roses but that real partnership means living in reality uh, you've got the mother of fire, which is the queen um, of fire. And so did you get the queen of fire somewhere else? No, you didn't. OK, uh, you got the queen of pentacles. You got the mother of fire, queen of fire. I mean, you are just feeling really great about things. Like even as maybe there's a little bit of hardship, a little bit of like 
not so great things towards the middle and end of the month you are by the time you get to the end because you understand and you don't get caught up in like oh my gosh this is awful and I hate that they have to work so much and I'm not getting them much uh, enough attention or oh my gosh I have to work so much so I'm not able to put as much attention you're just like you know what no we have a steady schedule it might sound boring but you have steady date nights you know on this night you're going to be able to spend uninterrupted time with your partner you know you're going to get your cup filled you understand that like yeah this is a time that you have to give a lot but you're also being able to receive a lot and because of that it creates that stability that you want in the in your home life it creates that fire that you understand that you can tap into whenever you need to and then two of wands is your final card and two of wands is always lovely lovely energy for um being able to say that like what is it that keeps that passion going? What is it that keeps your energy up? How are you able to tap into and harness into your own light? Which, you know, I think sometimes Pisces, you can get a little lost in all the feelings of things. But this, all of your, how to work with this energy is really pulling you towards balance, pulling you towards staying realistic, keeping your feet on the ground, keeping in that energy of, um, excitement of arousal so if you're feeling like real low if you find yourself going real low ten of wands seven of earth the emperor because you're like everything's so practical and i just have to be like understand that give some part of your day to that and give some part of your day to just having fun keeping things light going on dates and having a good time maybe on Saturdays y'all don't do any work or maybe on Sundays whatever pick a day maybe on whatever day it is you don't do any work and y'all just do something fun that brings you together and makes you feel close and whole all right let's get your outcome card outcome card for Pisces this is like man we do not like these cards right here why do we not have more cards to choose from all right, we'll pull some from here. I'll come apart. Yeah, that was fast too. Mother of Earth. Mother of Earth is Queen of Pentacles energy. It's repeating itself. It's reiterating that really, truly, you're moving into Queen of Pentacles energy. You're moving into, and you have such like, oh, so many great cards here. Crown of Fire, Queen of Pentacles, Mother of Fire, Mother of Earth, which are just the queen of fire queen of wands and queen of pentacles energy you have a very mature very mature very stable very passionate energy coming in this month and it's pulling you into that it's pulling you into that space where you don't feel so emotionally fraught and vulnerable you feel very safe you feel very you feel very secure and that allows for you to get excited about your relationships to get excited about your partnerships to actually feel aroused and want to connect with your partner so stabilize it's gonna be all good lots of love coming in very wonderful outcome for you ten of chalices all right so that is it i will see y'all for the next video for the partners bye pisces